What is the social analysis of what will happen to the United Kingdom if there's some kind of Norway or Canadian Brexit? I think the Norway uh, Brexit would probably be fairly small effect because that mm -hmm. would leave the UK very close to the EU and essentially involved in uh, the customs union and much of the single market. So I think a Norway style um, uh, Brexit would probably have a small effect. I think uh, a much stronger Brexit than that would have a significant negative effect on the British economy. Most of the modelling which was done uh, ahead of the time on what the medium term loss would be was five, six, seven percent of GDP. And I, I think what we're seeing is probably consistent with that over 15 years or so Francine and I spoke, per annum. Francine and I spoke in the Westminster Green yesterday to a gentleman whose representation he said was the Wisconsin of the United Kingdom. There are a lot of cows and he's an expert in milking dynamics and agricultural dynamics and that. How does an elite like you speak to those not in London in the United Kingdom uh, with the tone of trust us, we know what we're doing? How do you speak to the people in the United Kingdom that are leave and aren't attached to the London service sector economy? I think any uh, argument that begins, trust us, we know what we're doing, is an argument you should be very careful mm -hmm. about. We have to present, we, whoever is involved in this, mm -hmm. have to present arguments on their merits. Now, if you put obstacles in the way of trade, if you create risks around mm -hmm. investment, then trade will go down and investment goes down. That's a pretty fair bet. And that's where the economic analysis of the likely losses from a hard Brexit come from. It's not mysterious. But we have to, uh, if we're offering those up, we have to make the case and we have to speak calmly and clearly. But as I said, don't begin any argument with trust us. Right. Uh, but trust me, my question is good coming up. Lord Stern, uh, how, you know, how does the UK, what does the UK want? Right. Is it Norway agreement? Is it Norway plus? Do we even have a really good handle on, of, of how they actually deal with the Irish border? The problem of the last two years is that the UK has not made up its mind what it wants. The closest we've had now is last Friday's Chequers agreement where the government now has a negotiating position. It surely would have been much <clears throat> better to have had that uh, a year or more ago. But I think we are closer to being able to say the UK uh, knows what it wants now uh, than we did before. But this is a, you know, a, a country with lots of different views. So when you ask does the UK know what it wants, the right way to look at it is the UK government knows what it wants. And the answer is finally, finally, it's putting out something that uh, is clear. Right. You're not going to have uh, an Irish border uh, without uh, hard uh, uh, blocks on it yep. if um, you have something like yep. a hard Brexit because you know if, if, if tariffs are there somebody's yep. got to administer those tariffs and you've got to have a border if the movement is uh, very closely controlled you've got to have a border so the harder the Brexit the more likely it's to have a block on that border.